Y E D? Yes, income elasticity of demand. Hmm. And what would that be? Well, there are two sides to it. The first is when the economy is in a boom. And by boom, you mean when the economy is flourishing, like this graph. Yes. As one's income increases, the demand for normal goods, in other words, luxury goods, increases as well. An increase means that person has more real income. So instead of buying more of that necessity, consumers will want to use their increased income to buy more luxurious goods. Oh. And thus, during this period of increasing income, demand for normal goods tend to increase, while the demand for what we call inferior goods, the opposite, would decrease as it is an opportunity cost. Yes, all of that can be summarized by this graph. You can see on this supply-demand graph, as people's wages increases, demand for normal goods increases as well. So, normal goods can be shown mathematically with a positive sign. I get it now. Conversely, during a recession or an economic slowdown, like the recent economic tsunami, items of discretionary spending are most probably the first victims to get cut out by consumers to rebuild savings, whilst inferior products such as frozen vegetables, jarred food might actually grow. But how would one calculate YED? Oh, with this equation. If the solution to this equation is positive, then it is a normal good. But if it is a negative, then this is an inferior good. I see. And to summarize all of that, we could say that income elasticity of demand measures the relationship between quantity demanded and income. Exactly. Another way quantity demanded and income is related is how a necessity is income inelastic. As quantity demanded changes really little even if there is a big difference in prices. While a luxury good or superior good is income elastic since it is a large change in price would cause a larger change in quantity demanded. So the graph would be like this. Yes, definitely. And examples include these. Here, these are income inelastic and these are income elastic. Right. Overall, there are many ways in which income and quantity demanded are related. But we must keep in mind that within a given market, the income elasticity of demand for various goods can vary and of course the perception of a product would differ from consumer to consumer. What to some people is a necessity might be a luxury to others. For many products, there is a very weak link at best between fluctuations in income and spending decisions. In this case, the real income effect arising from a fall in prices is likely to be relatively small. Most of the impact on demand following a change in price will be due to changes in relative prices of substitute goods and services. And that's all we have for now, folks. Bye! Bye.